Are you ready to take your flying experience to the next level? In this video, Travel Hacks from a Frequent Flyer, we unveil uncommon secrets that every traveler should know to make the most out of their journeys. Join us as we share insider tips on how to score the best flight deals, navigate airport security like a pro, and maximize your comfort during long-haul flights. Discover essential packing strategies, the best times to book your flights, and how to leverage loyalty programs for free upgrades. Whether you're a seasoned traveler or planning your first trip, these travel hacks will save you time, money, and hassle. Don't miss out on these invaluable insights that could change the way you fly forever. SSSS on your boarding pass, a cause for concern. If you see the letters SSSS on your boarding pass, you should be prepared for additional security checks. These letters indicate that you might be selected for a secondary screening, which could include a thorough inspection of your carry-on luggage. Instead of these letters, you might also see a checkerboard pattern. Why might you be selected for additional screening? Some criteria include making a last-minute booking or paying for your ticket in cash. However, in some cases, the selection is completely random. It's more inconvenient than turbulence, so you should try to be among the first to board the plane and be prepared for this process. Blue seats on airplanes. Why they're common. You may have noticed that most airplanes have blue seats. It's not a mystery. Airlines choose this color because of its calming effect, which helps soothe passengers and reduce anxiety, especially in nervous travelers. But there's another practical reason. Dark blue hides stains, wear, and scratches better, making the seats look cleaner for longer. The security of your boarding pass. You should never leave your boarding pass in a public place. It contains confidential information such as your name, frequent flyer number, and other details that could allow someone else to access your reservations, change your seat, or even cancel your flights. It's best to take your pass home after the flight and destroy it, ideally by shredding it. The trick to boarding without rushing. Although it sometimes feels urgent to rush to the gate when boarding begins, it's not always necessary. Experienced travelers often wait until the very end to board. This saves time in lines and reduces the amount of time spent sitting inside the plane. After all, no one is going to take your seat. However, there's one exception. If you have a large carry-on bag, it might be better to board early. Otherwise, you could run out of space in the overhead compartment and have to wait for others to disembark to retrieve your luggage. The Airplane Bathroom Trick Before takeoff and landing, flight attendants usually flip a small switch on the bathroom door, making it harder to open. However, a flight attendant can still open the door from the outside, even if someone is inside. They just need to lift the occupied sign and turn the latch to unlock it. Turbulence versus updrafts. Pilots don't worry too much about turbulence because they know there's something far more dangerous, updrafts. While turbulence can feel intense in most cases, it only causes the plane to descend a few meters, even if it feels like you're falling from the top of the Empire State Building. If the turbulence is strong enough for pilots to ask flight attendants to take their seats, the plane might drop three to six meters. Extreme turbulence is very rare, but updrafts can be more dangerous. Updrafts are masses of air, part of storms or other meteorological phenomena, that move upwards and aren't always detectable by radar, especially at night. When a plane hits one, it feels like going over a huge bump at 500 miles per hour. These updrafts are dangerous because they can push the plane to unsafe altitudes. Safety Systems in Airplanes Modern airplanes are equipped with special systems that detect other aircraft mountains and solid objects in their path. If a plane is 10 miles away from another, a voice in the cockpit will start alerting with traffic traffic. As they get closer, this voice will give more precise instructions. Additionally, airplanes can operate on just one engine, even during takeoff and landing. In the unlikely event that both engines fail, pilots would still have up to 20 minutes to find a suitable place to land. It's not like the plane would fall out of the sky like a rock. In-flight food altered flavors. The way the cabin is pressurized affects passengers' taste buds. Up to 30% of the ability to taste sweet and salty foods is lost. So, it's not that airplane food isn't tasty, but rather that the environment affects your perception of flavors. That's why airlines add more salt and spices to their meals. Interestingly, noise-canceling headphones can help your taste buds by eliminating ambient noise, 
which can improve your flavor perception. Meaning of sounds on board. Each beep you hear during the flight has its own meaning. For example, a tone shortly after takeoff indicates that the landing gear is retracting. Three beeps in a row indicate more urgency than a single beep. A high-low chime informs the crew that they are needed elsewhere on the plane. And three low chimes mean that severe turbulence is ahead, and the crew must secure the food carts, take their seats, and fasten their seatbelts. Tips for nervous travelers. If you're a nervous passenger, choose a seat in the middle of the cabin, right over the wings. Turbulence affects the front and back of the plane more, while the central area experiences less movement. Pilots and co-pilots eat different meals as a precaution. This prevents both from getting food poisoning from the same dish. If they both want to eat the same thing, they don't eat at the same time. One waits to see how the other feels before trying the same meal. Surprisingly, the dirtiest place on the plane isn't the toilet seat. Flight attendants warn about headrests, trays, seat belts, and seat pockets, which tend to harbor more germs. Airplane hygiene. Studies have shown that a third of seat belts contain yeast and mold, and most trays are covered in bacteria. In addition, seat pockets are also unhygienic, but the headrests are the dirtiest of all. In most cases, flight attendants don't have enough time to change or disinfect them between flights. Captain's procedures. When the captain announces that they are finishing up some paperwork, it means they are busy reviewing the flight itinerary or waiting for ground staff to prepare the flight log. This log is a diary that contains the official record of the journey. Secret crew dormitories. Some airplanes, especially those on long haul flights, have secret dormitories where crew members can rest. These compartments, called crew rest areas, are usually located at the back of the plane or behind the cockpit. They can have up to 10 comfortable beds for flight attendants to rest. Airplane windows. Airplane windows are made of super strong acrylic, making them capable of withstanding high speeds during flight. They also have a special shape that allows the cabin pressure to push them against the body of the plane, making it very unlikely for them to break. In the past, windows were square, but pressure would accumulate at the corners, which were weak points. This made them more prone to breaking under the stress of high altitudes. Today, curved windows have solved this problem by distributing pressure and reducing the risk of cracks or other damage. Lightning strikes on airplanes. Airplanes are struck by lightning at least once a year or once every thousand flight hours. However, it's completely safe. The electric charge simply passes through the plane's aluminum shell, causing no damage. Interestingly, airplanes not only get struck by lightning, but sometimes they also cause it. When a plane passes through a cloud, the friction between its fuselage and the air generates static electricity, which can sometimes trigger a lightning strike. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave your own travel hacks in the comments below. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more travel tips, tricks, and hacks. I'll see you in the next video.